Like, I don't even know what to do. I want to hit my head against a hard surface. I'm, like, literally so upset about this. I just don't even... I can't even describe into words how hopeless and helpless this all feels, you know? Because I am just... I, I can't. If people are coming in and wondering what in the world I'm talking about, it's the Sebastian Rogers case. And I'm just so disheartened because I feel so bad for Seth Rogers. I feel like he's the one caught in all of this. And it's just affecting the searches for Sebastian, his son. And his, his son needs to be found. His son needs to be found so bad. And it's like this United Cajun Navy, which we all thought was the Cajun Navy. Okay, let's be honest. We thought they were the Cajun Navy, the Cajun Navy that was developed in 2016 to go out and search for missing people. The one that has a stellar reputation, by the way. And we thought that's who we got. Well, we are realizing very much so that is not what we got. This is, these are not trained people. These are not people that have ever uh, have ever dealt with anything like this, setting up searches or anything. They are just green as green can be. I know because I'm watching it from the sidelines and I have been involved in a lot of searches in my years okay a lot of searches from florida all over the country all over the country so i've had a little slice of a lot of different types of searches and i'm telling you that there was something that was stinking to high heaven with this united cajun navy because even though i'm i'm i, I could honestly say disputeful whatever i mean there's just some people out there that i don't necessarily whatever and when we have multiple people coming forward and saying that this organization ain't right, it ain't right. And so I come on here and I'm complaining for days about how searches have almost halted because of this United Na Cajun Navy, because we had a lot of people from all these social media platforms. We've been on here for hours and days on end trying to get volunteers out there. And we had a good, good search group. I mean, this search group was huge. And then we were like, yeah, United Cajun Navy's coming in. They're going to be helping, helping, helping. And then they just dismantled this whole huge search organization that everybody put together. And they sat in a parking lot literally for days collecting donations and trying to speak with media. And finally they have backlash, huge, huge backlash from social media and a whole bunch of people. And then they're writing on their Facebook page, we heard you, we're, we are, we're taking notice, and we're, I'm finally thinking, okay, finally, they're getting their stuff together. Everybody get out there. Let's get this search efforts underway. And now we're finding out it's never been the United Cajun Navy out there searching. What they've done is they have a couple people at a tent. They are telling people to go here, go here, go here. But nobody from the United Cajun Navy was even out there really searching for my understanding. I could be wrong and if i am god forgive me but from what i'm hearing that's not the case they're using the volunteers work as their own yet again they have been not doing anything to really coordinate the efforts they stop search efforts literally for days and then they finally get a day in and they stop early because of lack of volunteers and then the next day we finally hear from uh, Seth and he thought that they had a good group come in. And so we are really thankful and, you know, everybody get out there and do your part. And then today, just an hour ago, we get yet another cancellation from this very organization that sat in a parking lot for days collecting donations. We haven't even gotten 16 full hours out of them in one week not even 16 hours in one week i am just i don't know i'm just angry right now i'm angry for seth i'm hurt for seth because seth 
relied on this this organization seth relied on the volunteers seth relied on us and it's like they came in and destroyed such a huge momentum like there should have been hundreds of people out there searching all week long and there's barely anybody out there searching it's so disheartening it's so helpless and hopeless sitting here and i don't know how to describe my my pure frustration my pure just disappointment my anger in part like i'm upset about this but more importantly i'm just hurt for seth i really am i'm just hurt for seth so guys we need to say a prayer for seth we need prayers we need universe we need you know whatever you guys get your strength from i need you to go to that place and get that strength for this man because I can't imagine how all of this must feel for him, how hopeless and helpless he feels, because this is his child. And he's been out there alone, doing this alone. He hasn't even had the mother or the stepfather by his side or using them using each other for a support system. It just seems like Seth is just on his own. It's so sad. Like, I wanna cry. Is there no one out there? It, it doesn't sound like it. I mean, they're saying they're canceling, and then they say security. What security concerns? How can you have security concerns when you're having problems with people showing up? <laughs> I'm like, they, this this organization like literally lies through their teeth about everything. I just am. I am beside myself. I'm just <sighs> whatever. I, I, I don't get it. Good Lord. Right? What Easter, <clears throat> what's Easter got to do with it? I, you know what? I'm telling you, if I had literally my car, if my car had come back to me when it was supposed to, I would be out there right now. Easter, the rain, it doesn't stop me. You guys have watched me search in the rain. You guys watched me search in, in, in 30 degree weather while it was drizzling. A very uncomfortable thing to do, but I did it. And then you know what I had to do after that? I had to go and interview Dudley. If you guys remember Dudley from the Summer Wells case, I was out searching in the freaking mountains in 30 degree weather in the rain, never stopped until we had to do the interview. We looked like a hot mess doing the interview with Dudley because we had literally been out in that condition for literally eight hours. Uh, I saw another Facebook group that's still out searching. Oh, thank God. Oh, that makes me feel better. Thanks, Pac. I appreciate. I don't know how you guys know how to pin that. I don't know how to do that. Somebody's gonna have to give Bullhorn Betty uh, like a, a crash course on these lives and how they work because I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I will be honest with you. You guys are so lucky. You get what you get from me because I really don't know what I'm doing. But I think that's the coolest feature in the whole world. Like I can see that. I can, I don't know how you guys pin them, but. God bless you. I don't know how, but I, I saw that. <clears throat> Message me. I'll 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 learn you. <laughs> okay, Kirby. Thank you. <laughs> Kisses. <laughs> we can make a complaint uh, to the government agent. The donations is a fraud. <clears throat> that actually might. I, I don't know what this organization does. I mean, I did go and look at their their stuff. Oh, thank you, Pack. I did go look at their stuff and it looks like they do local stuff like getting, you know, groceries and stuff to, you know, th that kind of stuff. This type of scaled stuff, they really, you know, they sold the sizzle, not the steak, you know. Uh, and, I, and I think when we got the steak, we realized it was rump roast. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it. I think for all you non-beef people, I'm sorry for, for, for talking about beef. I don't mean to insult you, but I don't know how to explain it to the rest of us. <clears throat> I saw another Facebook. I'm, I'm so glad somebody's out there. God bless them. Whoever, like whoever they are, find out who that Facebook group is and who they are. If they're out there, like I, I almost want to order them pizza or something like that. Like I, 
I, I like want to like you know what I'm saying like I want to encourage people to do the right thing because it's the right thing to do not because it's the easy thing to do and we watch this organization just run search efforts into the ground and I feel so bad for the family because the family's just wanting help and they're going to be nice to whoever they they they're nice to and it sounds I don't know but it seems like you know and I don't want to be disrespectful to Seth you know what I'm saying like that's awful but it's like, Seth, you don't understand. Like, the rest of us do this a lot. And I know you're going through this for your first time and everything like this. But this organization is not doing you any good. They're they're ruining search efforts. They really, really, really super are. And I don't, I just, I, I feel so bad for them. <sighs> I think the police know a lot. Oh, well, I think they know a lot more, too. Listen to this. I had some things wrong because I went back and re-listened to some. There was just so much information coming in on this case, believe it or not. There really is a lot to digest for, you know, one person. I'm just one person. I mean, I've got a team, but in all fairness, I, I, I'm derelict on my um, mod requirements. <laughs> if my mods are in here, they're probably shut, wagging their finger at me because they do a lot of work. I just don't see it and I feel bad and I see it after the fact and I need to start being more attentive to their work. But the bottom line is, is there was this inner, a lot of the stuff, you know, you have to watch. It's interviews and things like that and um it's i was going through this interview with uh, dolly vision on youtube you might want to go check it out actually i encourage you to go check it out because it's with seth rogers and um seth is breaking it down and apparently i wish he would have asked some different questions when it came down to what video he saw but they he said that they showed them when they went to tbi that they showed them a video of that day before, uh, uh, before, let me rewind. Seth only asked law enforcement to show him proof that his son, some his son was okay after he talked to him on Thursday. He found out that he went to that he definitely went to school on Friday, so he wanted something after Friday that showed his son. And so law enforcement, I guess, basically brought them in to show them that restaurant footage. So it was the footage, from my understanding, of when uh, Katie and Sebastian ate that evening, which was at the restaurant. I don't want to broadcast the—I think if anybody does the research or knows this case, probably can figure out what the restaurant is. Just just for, you know, I know people get a little wild <laughs> in some of these cases. So just for security purposes, I will not be saying that uh, restaurant on my show. And I'm, I don't know if that'll change. If it's more publicly available, maybe that will change. Um, but either way, the um, restaurant uh, footage, that's what he saw. And I keep wondering, because I wish— you know, a few questions would have been asked, like what he was wearing. You know, that's a really important question uh, because, you know, did he take a shower that night? I think many people are curious as to whether Sebastian Rogers took a shower, you know, um, whether was he in the same clothes? You know, we're just wanting more information on, on you know, his whereabouts and what he was wearing before he disappeared. So <clears throat> it seemed like this video raised an eyebrow. I mean, Seth got a poker face it's in part until he was on this Dolly Vision interview. And he saw, there was a few times he side eyed. Dude, there was many, there was a few times in this interview he side eyed. And that's very, very telling. And it was all around the timeline and the mom and stepfather. He side-eyed, guys. He side-eyed. There's something. There's something here. There's something here. They, these, there's, there is. I don't want to go on a limb. We all are feeling that this ain't right. The story ain't right. What we're hearing ain't right. Uh, the, the fact that there's no dog hits aren't right, especially if he had no shoes on his feet. There should be a plethora of scent. And there's none. None. And the parents running off. Stepfather going to work. Mom and stepdad not really being out searching. I feel so bad for Seth because he's just going stir crazy trying to find, uh, turn over every freaking stone. And then he's got these this knucklehead organization called the United Crazy uh, Crazy Nation. <laughs> <laughs> the United Crazy Navy. Because <laughs> these bitches are crazy. I got to be honest with you. Like, I have never, I, this is, and you know, I'm making light of it. It's not funny. 
Like, the only person being affected with this nonsense from this stupid freaking organization is Sebastian and Seth. Because I can tell you, it doesn't seem like Katie Proudfoot or Chris Proudfoot give a rat's ass whether anybody's out there searching for this boy or not. So the only people that are being affected uh, by this nonsense with this organization is Sebastian and Seth. That's it. They are out there, out of their element. Yeah, it's just they're not equipped to deal with something like this. They should go to a few more actual searches. You know what? This is what this is what makes me know that they have this organization has not attended one organized search in their life because they have no clue what they are doing. Even people that have never organized one of these things that have gone to many of them know how to organize them just because of the participation in their own personal experience at these types of organized searches. I can tell you, I've never organized a search, but if you asked me to go in there and do this, I would know how to do it because I have been at many of them. This, this tells me this organization or whoever they have running it out here has no clue and has never once not one time been a part of an organized search, ever. That's what it tells me, to be honest with you. Um, usually companies give them free when uh, you work for them. Oh, thank you, Curvy. It's not funny. It isn't funny. And, and shame on them for coming out here and, and doing this. I mean, there literally was an amazing, you guys saw that first day. Is it, don't you guys find it a little odd, just a tad bit peculiar that we had all of those bodies out there and the very next day it was kiboshed? Does, it, does anybody see that that was odd and then all of a sudden this organization that's taking over doesn't even search and just sets up a booth in a parking lot? I've never in my life seen any type of organization like that. Usually you have a man with each team from, from this organization. You have a team lead out there with, with whatever group is going out there. You have, you know, walkie talkies and, and things. And, and it's just, it's not, these people are like, okay, you get it. You get it. You get it. All the media coverage. Yeah. All for media. Yeah. And that's it. And media was hook, line, and sinker because, again, I think they misunderstood and thought that this organization was the Cajun Navy 2016 because the story that they told Nancy Grace was the history of a completely different nonprofit organization. So they're going around with a completely non, uh, uh, another a completely different nonprofit organization's history and touting it as their own. This right here is a, a, a true, a nonprofit organization. They're, they're, they're with the, the United States. You can go in the United States and search them and know that they're a nonprofit organization. I've never said that they're not a pro nonprofit organization. They're fraudulent in the fact that their history, they're telling people their history, and their history is not the history of the United Cajun Navy. They're touting the United or the Cajun Navy 2016's history as theirs. And eliciting donations based on another nonprofit organization's history. They're basically a leech. They're a leech nonprofit. I don't know. I don't know. How to, I don't know how to explain it other than that. I don't know how to explain. They, they basically created a nonprofit with a similar name and stole their history. I mean, that is what they did. It's just, it was this the weirdest thing I had ever seen. It's just the weirdest thing I ever seen. But I'm just, I, I, when I saw this, I guess I wanted to come on here for another bitch fest about this organization because I don't know how else to let people know that this is just not right. 
um, how they treated Seth. And, and Seth is none the wiser because he doesn't do this, right? He's he's never been through this, thank God, you know, but it's a horrible experience to have to be going through it and to be relying on people. Like he's relying on this organization to get their shit together. And they just keep coming up short because all the people that got it together, they threw out. And as you see, who has it together and who does not? Because I can tell you when you kicked all the main players out that had it together, it fell apart. Just saying. People keep showing up to help and this group keeps canceling. It's sad. I don't, you know, I can't, I can't. So there you guys go. You know, it's Good Friday too, which is awful. It's just Good Friday. So I guess, you know, for those that are of us on here on this platform that are religious, you know, just pray. You know, a lot of us are going to be going to church this weekend, either online or in person. And I really want you to keep Sebastian in the, the front of your mind when you do, and his family, you know, um, and his family, because there's more, you know, we don't know what happened. And at this point, I just, I, I want to uplift the entire family. Um, I want Sebastian to come home and I want him to come home safely. So I know with each passing day, we're kind of, it's getting a little hard, but still have to have hope right and maybe this weekend we can get more hope more hope so if you for the churchgoers here for the religious people here say a prayer um, do what you guys can do to uplift this family and try to bring um, Sebastian home that's really all we can do it's just it's sad but I I will never good God I hope this organization never does any more of these organized searches again because they're not really good at it and this is so disheartening and the only people being disadvantaged from this is two people and it's Seth and Sebastian so all right guys well thank you guys for all being here don't forget we got some some subs in here that's so cute I, I I'm new to the subscription stuff so if you guys would like to just, um, subscribe on a monthly basis please consider doing so God bless <laughs>